Hi, this is Mr. Schofield, and I'm here to share some information about my class and just talk a little bit about me. And I am a parent with a fifth grader and a seventh grader, and my seventh grader goes here to uh, Washington. Um, this is my sixth year teaching at Washington Middle School, and I think that this school is great. I've had a great time um, with working here. Um, one of my uh, most recent accomplishments as a teacher is that um, I'm now a nationally board certified special ed teacher, and I've been nationally board certified for now for three years. Uh, units for the year. So what are we going to cover? So we have some themes this year. So for our sixth grader, we're going to, our theme for the year is change. For seventh graders, it's, this is about choices and eighth graders about challenges. Um, there are four units we'll try to cover most of the time. Um, in my experience, we've been able to cover uh, the first three units pretty in depth um, with a few lessons into four. Obviously, with this year being a little different, uh, we might not quite get so far into the curriculum and we might make some adaptations to kind of skip some lessons to be able to cover the essential portions of lessons. We're just kind of planning as we go and choosing what we know works best and is most critical for kids to know. Um, and just it's important to know that, that our instruction is based and dictated on student progress and their success with their work um, rather than trying to conquer and get through the curriculum. Um, so grading, so no one's gonna fail. All you have to do is show up to Zoom uh, we're only giving out A, Bs, and Cs this year. That's a district-wide middle school grading policy. Um, again, your, your child's attendance is the most important piece to this. Um, so I need to see them to be able to help them, okay? There's two areas in the grade book you'll see for grading that I use content knowledge and effort grades. Content knowledge is when I use an assignment. Um, that's more of an assessment based on um, a lesson that I've given or I want to check that they for mastery on a particular standard a lesson is connected to. And then gr effort grades will be based on participation, work completion, um, those sorts of things. Um, using Schoolology or Schoology, I've heard it say, said both ways. Um, this is where I assign work. Um, I can grade student work. I can give feedback to students on their work. Um, I can provide links to resources. Uh, my class. The Zoom link is on there. You can email me on there. There's a calendar on there as well that's very useful so you can track student work and when it's due. Um, there's also another section on the left side for updates. Um, and sometimes I post things that are that has useful information or a link there as well. So check, have your child check there. They know we work with them in class on checking both um, for materials, which is where we post our assignments and updates. Um, and don't forget about that calendar that I've already mentioned. That's a super useful tool in Schoology. Um, and then there's also a parent app for Schoology that you can download onto your phone so you can see um, what your child's grades are, um, what assignments they have going on, um, check on class information. It's, it's very useful for uh, tracking what your kids are doing in, in the world of Schoology. Um, and then don't forget to submit and resubmit work. Have, make sure if you're helping your child at home uh, that they need to submit their work so I can give them a grade. Um, we can't really, it's, it's difficult to give grades or points uh, when they don't submit the assignment. So remember as they finish an assignment, it's important to submit their work and it's a big submit button at the very top. Now, if a child or your student is uh, needs more time on an assignment, um, they can they can click the unsubmit button and and edit and revise like their writing, for instance, or retaking a quiz, for instance. Um, and I can also do that as well. Um, in terms of my due dates, even though I, I give really generous due dates because uh, I want the kids to be able to. Uh, finish the assignment and complete it and have as much time as they need to be successful. Obviously, it's um, an accommodation for nearly all of my students. Um, 
so that's just another way that I, I help kids um, in, in terms of trying to make them as successful as possible with their work. Um, and please reach out to me if uh, a, uh, an assignment is a couple of weeks past, but you want to work on it with your child. For sure, I'll change grades and I can unsubmit it so, you, so they can go back and work on it, okay? The only time that might not be true is when we get to the end of the semester or quarter, when we get deadlines to put our grades in. Um, so that's the only part where we might run into a little bit of a wall um, in terms of being able to work on an assignment more would be as if we're at the end of the semester or quarter, okay? Um, participation, just showing up to Zoom is so critical. Um, even if your child shows up late, it, I don't get mad at them, it's okay. As long as they try to come to, to Zoom, uh, that's the most important part. I want them to feel successful and part of our class. Um, so that's important. Um, so uh, with that said though, it's important to be on time too. It's also challenging for me if I'm in the middle of reading um, a story, um, a passage that we're gonna do some writing to or, or do some comprehension activities with and they, and they show up like halfway through reading it, that's, that's hard for your child. It's frustrating for them. So showing up on time is important, but show up is the most important piece to this. And then please let me know if you have any internet problems because I can help you out with that. Um, we have some district resources that can possibly help you with it. And I'll try to reach out to you and let you know if, if I'm hearing of internet problems with your student because that can be a frustrating issue for your child. Um, ways to help your student. Um, keep your child, your student, coming to Zoom classes um, every time we meet. That's the most important thing, the number one thing that you can do to help your student do well this year. Um, if your kid, your child doesn't come to Zoom, I can't help them and teach them, okay? So please, please have them continue to come to Zoom classes regularly. Um, and then um, the other piece that I thought of that would help would be to make your internet work as best as possible. I've seen where students are trying to, to participate in Zoom, but their internet's cutting in, in and out. And so they, they feel kind of uh, defeated and deflated when that happens. They're trying to put forth their best effort into participating and then the internet kind of conks out or doesn't work well. So just kind of monitoring how your internet's working and trying to problem solve it if you run into problems is so helpful for me and so helpful for your uh, student, your child. Um, and if you need help or your child needs help, please reach out. Um, we're pretty good at problem solving. If I don't have an answer, um, we have a lot of other great teachers at our school um, that can provide solutions for some of our problems that we run into. Um, you know, probably the year won't go totally smooth. Um, so if you keep me in the loop on anything that's coming up um, that you're having a challenge with, um, falling behind in work, for example, or feeling unmotivated, unmotivated, we have resources and ideas and ways to help our kids, okay? So reach out to me and I can help be a problem solver. Um, and then contacting me, um, email is the best bet to reach me. Um, and then this is my email address up here, aschofield at osd.wednet.edu. There's also a link on my Schoology page and all of my classes where you can just click and um, with your, if your student is logged into my Schoology pages, they, they can just click, there's a button at the top with the Gmail symbol. You just click on that and my link to my email comes right up, okay? Um, I'm also trying to work from my classroom some this year. Um, usually I'm there on Wednesdays, um, so I try to get in there once a week and I work from my classroom because there's some resources there that I don't have at home. I have access to like the copier machine um, and then I like to see my, my colleagues. We share ideas, we plan together. Um, so uh, I, I am in the classroom. Um, usually on Wednesdays, so if you need to, you can call me and leave a message on my voicemail. I'll check it at least once a week. Sometimes I might not be able to get to my classroom, but I try to get there at least once a week. And my phone number is 360-596-3049. And remember, if I'm not there, just leave me a message. Um, and of course, you can always catch me on Zoom. So like at the end of a class, 
as I'm finishing up, you can jump onto Zoom with me and you can ask me a question, let me know what's going on, give me some feedback. And I'll definitely, I would stay after Zoom or after after the Zoom class is over with you on Zoom and just kind of, uh, you know, get the kids out of the Zoom room. And then um, you and I could, could conference one-to-one. Um, I'd also be able to schedule um, a Zoom meeting with you if you um, are having some challenges or want to just talk to me about how things are going. Um, we, we can we can set that up. It's not a, not a problem at all. Um, so please, um, I guess the takeaways would be, please make sure that you're helping your child attend Zoom classes regularly. And please reach out to me to let me know if something's not going right. Uh, I can't help if you don't let me know what's going on. Um, I'm here to help and I, I really enjoy us. Big part of my job is trying to help problem solve to help make your child as successful as possible this year. Um, so um, let me know if you have questions, um, comments. I hope this was helpful and uh, have a nice evening. And thanks for coming to uh, our digital curriculum night.